I get lots of requests to make stuff, so here's one of them. To make this fun and easy mini fog maker, you'll need a coffee can. Remove the label, it'll look a lot cooler. Then I dug through my box of computer fans and found a nice two and a half inch square one. Lay it on the plastic top that came off the coffee can, and then we're going to make a mark around it and cut that square out just inside the mark you made. Apply some hot glue or other epoxy around the edge of the hole, and then attach the fan. I added a 9 volt battery clip to the fan, and even though these fans run at 12 volts, 9 volts will allow the fan to run a little bit slower and give us just the airflow we need. I found a section of pool hose which will be great for this project because it has a nice nozzle at one end. And that's going to be mounted at the very top of our can. So I made a mark and then used a pair of shears to cut the hole out and then used the Dremel just to kind of round out those sharp edges. If the hole is cut right, the pool hose will fit in snugly. Then I trimmed this hose down from three feet to about a foot. And now we need dry ice. Now you can get this at the supermarket or butcher shop. Don't forget to wear gloves because this is colder than cold. Break off a pretty good sized chunk and set it aside. Then get a cup of water and microwave it. We need it hot, so let it run long enough to boil. And here we go. Add the boiling water, uh, try not to spill any. Then immediately drop the chunk of dry ice in our mini fog maker and put on the top. Look out, Tux. Here comes the fog. This thing pumps out a decent amount of fog and gives you pretty good ground cover. This design came from my buddy Greg, who built one about 25 years ago, only he used a 50-gallon drum and a 10-pound block of dry ice. So that's how to make a mini fog maker. Tell us in the comments what you'd use it for. And check out some of my other smoking videos.